Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. And today we're just changing up our team, you know, because we've got our first game of the Capital One Cup, and if we can win that, that might probably boost team morale a bit more. And also, I want to kind of get far in the uh, Capital One Cup, as I told you uh, last time. Sorry about that little stutter, I don't know what happened there. Um, but anyway, we're just changing around the team here. Uh, looking at like players like Flamini, who I might want to play, I might not want to. But with Theo Walker, um, I just took him out of the team there, and I think I'm going to put um, a couple of you know a bit more younger players on because we've got um, like games against Swansea coming up, and then in the next episode we've got a game against PSG. So I'm trying to save um, quite a few good players to play in those two games because Swansea, we know, um, are a team that Arsenal can sometimes get tripped over by. So we're just getting into this game now, and um, I was just looking at some of my wingers who don't want to play who I don't want to play um, and I decided you know what I decided to put a bit of experience in there um, um, but also a couple of youth players because I know that maybe Paul and who I'm playing against they could put up a bit of a fight but I didn't think they put up much of one so I decided to put up quite a few big well a couple of bigger names on the bench just in case we didn't get into any trouble um, but mainly my squad was quite a young one so Bournemouth they haven't got really well. They haven't got like a prolific squad, but we don't know how they're going to play because I've never played them before um, on this game so far, and um, so we'll have to see how well they do actually play. Um, I did, I did decide to put Fabianski in net as well, um, so I didn't know how he'd play either. I think it was his first game for us. But anyway, getting down the wing here with Markovic, and um, we we'll get a through ball to um, Oxley Chamberlain. Oxley Chamberlain cuts inside, trying to do what he did against uh, Sunderland. But unfortunately, we can't get the ball to him there. Pass it out to Flamley. Flamley rockets a shot in, but unfortunately, gets blocked. And then DRB from the rebound gets the ball into the back of the net. That was quite a nice volley um, to get it past Bournemouth. I thought he might have missed, but DRB there scoring a very rare goal for him and celebrates in style. So, getting the ball back here or attempting to there, um, we'd nearly lose it. And we. Um, nearly win it back, but we get it back here, and we pass it across to Beltang, who gets it to Flamney, who gets it to Podolski, and Podolski puts it straight down the wing to Markovic, and Markovic, you know, is going to try and cross it in here, and Rosicki is on the end of that, and he scores a brilliant goal for us, and Thomas Rosicki, probably going to be selling him, but if he scores lovely goals like that, then his price is going to probably rise for us, and that might um, help us get a bit more for him. So anyway, Abu Diaby back on the ball again, he's yellow carded, I think he gave away a silly foul. But anyway, Flamini tries to get through on the ball here and without taking a touch just blasts that ball into the top corner at the near post. And it gets us our third goal and once again celebrate it in style. I wanted to do the um, celebration for FIFA 13 where you slide across the floor but um, unfortunately you can't do that one. Well you can do that one, it's just not that one anymore. And Markovic here, as you can see, trying to draw players out there but when it goes straight into the middle beats his defender on pace and heads it into a net which you know is occupied by a keeper who isn't on the highest morale at the moment because we just absolutely black battered him and as you can see I did bring Ozil on in the later part of the match I did bring on a couple more experienced players you know just to give them a bit of a touch of the ball before Swansea on you know, Saturday for us and we were getting like things about players um, scouts not doing well in where they were like in England since he's found all he can so I was going to start to, um, to move um, some of my scouts around to places they've probably not been before um, I, I don't think I'll do it uh, with this scout here and um, I decided to check over some of the bigger nations um, where I've like not looked with my um, new instructions um, but eventually I think I'm going to start looking at into the MLS Korea, uh, Colombia, Argentina I don't know though um, I'll have to see and we've got a couple of, just got a couple of messages here just to motivate the squad and stuff like that and our next game is against Swansea and everyone knows Swansea you know they can upset teams a bit like um, West Brom have done this season they beat Man U last year uh, Swansea were all over the big four and they were a bit of a threat so I was just looking through our squad here and they seem to be all on near enough full fitness um, I think it's because we had a bit of a break between the matches between the Capital One Cup and the Swansea game so it allowed me to put um, a lot of my bigger names on but also I had to remember that I had a game against PSG in the week so hardly any of my players will have um, recovered their stamina um, by then if they do play um, in this game today so I had to think tactically so I decided to put Nicholas Bentner on because you know I want to keep Oliver Giroud um, fresh for um, the PSG game and also I was 
think about it with uh, players like Ozil um, and stuff like that. So I decided to put Jack Wilshire on um, in my camp position. Um, and I was just looking through a squad. Who can I put on? Who shall I not put on? Um, I, was th I was tempted by Podolski as well. I just kept on looking at his name, but you know. I think I just, I'm just going to keep him off and maybe, um, well, hold off with him until the game in a week. Um, so, Yaya you know, you know, he's been on the bench quite a bit recently. So, I was maybe thinking about bringing him on towards the end of the game, maybe. Um, I don't know, though. Well. Um, but, Swansea, obviously, we're going to be putting out a stronger team because I don't think they are, they are in a, a European competition. So, they'll be out put out the strongest team they've got and if we can score a couple past them maybe it'll maybe I don't know what it'll cause because if I score one past them it might counter attack and be all over me but if I leave it late then um, they it might shock them a bit so I don't know what I'm going to do um, but Walker here gets it through um, to Wilshire and Wilshire goes down the wing not the fastest player but he's got a bit of acceleration on him and he cuts well tries to go back inside but he just can't there and we get it back to Gibbs here who passes to Walker who's Coming of it, and Royce just misses, just misses, hits a crossbar. I was holding my breath, and he just misses that goal there. Um, but Mikel Arteta getting the ball back here for us. I haven't been playing him too much recently, but I think he deserves it. And um, so Ramsey was on the edge of a box here, passed to Mikel Arteta, back to Ramsey, and Ramsey gets the ball out to a wing um, through Giroud, and Ramsey is in the box to get us at that head of that, and that makes it. 1-0 for us. And you know, Ramsey's saying, as he usually does, don't let them get don't let it go this far into a game because we need to score early on to make sure we're winning. Um, so we get the ball through it once again at two Urzel. Urzel gets it over to Giroud and Giroud, you know, heads it down but chips it through and over the keeper. And a humiliating goal for a humiliating goal for Swansea to score. But nevertheless that makes it 2-0 and that allows us to win the game. So anyway you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, also subscribe for more FIFA 14 games, um, well gameplay and player reviews and stuff like that, and also Battlefield 4 when it comes out. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.